Two men, two stories. The story of a new home and the story of a friendship. He came from his birthplace in North Ossetia by way of Moscow initially as a representative of BASF for a limited time to the Rhein-Neckar metropolitan area. Dr. Zoslan Sutsev, 36 years old, has been in Germany for five years. He has settled here as a controller at the company's headquarters in Ludwigshafen, a highly skilled worker pursuing a good career. Two years ago, he didn't know that Mannheim, with its famous water tower, would be his new home. Love brought him here, from Mexico, where he was midway up the professional career ladder. Adrian Recio Oviedo, 35 years old, a sociologist specialized in international relations between corporations and transferring employees. But he and his German wife decided to go to Germany. Adrian left the security of his career behind him. Once here, he worked hard to learn the language before realizing that it would take more than that to land a good job. Maybe it's because of my qualifications, which is what I'm looking on at the moment. I'm working. I'm learning. I'm getting certification in human resources, occupational law, specifically for Germany. It's keeping me very busy at the moment. Soslan Sutsev cleared that hurdle long ago. He and his family have found their favorite spot in the entire region, the patio of their house in Bad Durkheim. One reason he decided to stay here was that he felt welcome. There was never a single day we felt like strangers here. People were also so open and friendly to us, and I really must say that I am happy here. And I think you can see that when I come home. I arrive on time. The kids are happy. And I have the opportunity to watch my children grow up. There are hundreds of people like Zoslan and Adrian in the area international specialists and managers at global corporations. They are members of the Rhein-Neckar Welcome Club. The club has been organizing meetings like this one for a little more than a year. The different countries introduce themselves to each other and help each other feel at home in their new place of work. A network of immigrants and their German friends, and it gets a little larger each time. Hey. Hi, Soslan and Adrian met each other at the club some time ago and have become friends. Adrian's wife, Caroline, works for Fuchs Petroloop, a member of the network. Together, they are making a presentation about Adrian's home country, Mexico, in a conference room at ABB in Mannheim. He hopes the contacts he is making here will help him find work. Soslan is a member of the so-called core team, the central committee of the club. It organizes the meetings and thinks about the future of the network, which currently has about 100 members. The network enjoys the support of many local companies, including ABB, BASF, SAP, Roche Diagnostics, ABV, MLP, John Deere, Fuchs Petrolube, Evobus, Heidelberger Druck, and Heidelberg Cement, Volkswerke, SEMA, as well as the Rhein-Neckar Chamber of Commerce. At the meeting in Mannheim, SAP board member Werner Brandt and the meeting's host, ABB board member Markus Ochsner, emphasized how important foreign workers are for the development of the region and its businesses. Bringing highly skilled workers to the Rhine and Neckar and getting them off to a good start is the main objective of welcome clubs, like the one in the Rhine-Neckar metropolitan region. The managers know from experience what it's like to be in this situation, and that's why they take a personal interest in the organization. It's very important to me that the people who come here from other countries feel at home. When you have spent many years living in a foreign country, you know how important local contacts can be. Otherwise, it can be very lonely. And that's why I'm very happy to play a role here and lend my support. In fact, Margret Zucala is the honorary chairman of the Rhein-Neckar Welcome Club. She's an ambassador of the welcoming culture of the area, where Zoslan and Adrian became friends. They have put down anchor here. All the countries of the world, together in one place. Employees from diverse countries helping each other. This vision is reality in the Rhine-Neckar metropolitan region. 
It's a stepping stone to more international recognition with the goal of becoming one of Europe's most attractive and competitive regions by the year 2025.